Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello guys, welcome to my channel Don't forget to like and subscribe Micro, small and medium enterprise Or called UMKM To the national economic growth In the second quarter of 2021 Of 7.7% .7 year on year Need even stronger encouragement Optimizing the role of UMKM as the vanguard of driving the national economy needs to be realized immediately. The so UMKM must have an adaptive and solution character in meeting market needs. Therefore, in the midst of the coronavirus disease or COVID-19 pandemic, the need for digitizing UMKM is a necessity that cannot be negotiable. And this is to strengthen UMKM as the fundamental pillar of the country's economy. SMES business actors are formidable economic factors. When looking at the problem, there are always great opportunities uh, in the form of new business opportunities during a pandemic to be utilized properly. This condition cannot be spared from the characteristic of UMKM which have products and business schemes that are more flexible and closer to meeting the needs of the community. It is natural that UMKM have an important role in the economy in this country. Based on data from the Central Statistics Agency or called BPS, in 2020, the contribution of UMKM to the national economy is still very high. Their role is more than 37% of gross domestic product or GDP. Data from the Indonesia UMKM Association or called ACOMINDO, the Indonesian Business Development Service Association or called ABDSI, and the Ministry of Cooperative. So the UMKM are able to absorb 34 million workers are about 73% of the existing workforce. Meanwhile, in terms of transaction UMKM, were able to contribute uh, 400 trillion to the Indonesia economy. However, UMKM still have limitation in accessing and utilizing digitalization in business and markets. Uh, the role of digital bank in order for the acceleration of digitalization to be implemented for UMKM players support from banks is needed therefore the financial service authority or called OJK has relied digital bank regulations as that in OJK regulation number 21, uh, POJK for commercial banks consists of 19 chapters and 160 articles. The professions regarding digital bank are regulated in chapter 4 in article 23 to 31. It is stated that digital banks are banks with Indonesian legal entities that provide and carry out business activities through electronic channel without a physical office other than the head office or can use limited physical office. Digital banks are expected to contribute to the development of the financial ecosystem to accelerate the increase in financial inclusion. Banks with full digital service are expected to synergize with fintech and other non-bank financial institutions in order to penetrate finance for UMKM so that they penetrate a level of society. In order to provide comprehensive service, 
banks need to map out areas of digital need for UMKM identification of the needs of UMKM actor in the current digital era is categorized into three quadrants that is starting from fundamental needs then increasing to core needs and finally in the form of value add needs the first quadrant is the fundamental needs namely the basic needs of UMKM business actors in this condition every UMKM will definitely need it the tip Poluki of UMKM in this quadrant are those whose business scale is micro and small. Usually, it is a new startup business and the processing of the product is still simple. The needs UMKM at this stake are in the form of capital needs to increase their production capacity. The need of financial transaction for smooth business as well as the need for fund management but in the form of savings, current accounts, and deposits. So that's all from me and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.